Welcome back to Frontline News on the international scene. U.S. Special Counsel Robert Mueller in his first public comments on his investigation said on Wednesday that charging President Donald Trump was never an option for his team of prosecutors citing Justice Department guidelines that prohibit charging a sitting president. It explains that under long-standing department policy, a president, president cannot be charged with a federal crime while he is in office. That is unconstitutional. Even if the charge is kept under seal and hidden from public view, that too is prohibited. The special counsel's office is part of the Department of Justice, and by regulation, it was bound by that department policy. Charging the president with a crime was therefore not an option we could consider. As he announced his resignation, Miller told reporters, quote, We concluded that we would not reach a determination one way or the other about whether the president committed a crime, end quote. A 25-year-old woman is to serve five years in prison for leaking a document. The mother of the 25-year-old says her daughter is being held under an unjust media blackout. We get more in this report from the CNN. Wearing an orange jumpsuit with the word inmate on the back, alleged NSA leaker Reality Winner appeared outside court in shackles and handcuffs. Inside, Winner quietly told a judge she was not guilty of charges she stole classified documents about Russian election hacking from a government contractor inside Georgia's Fort Gordon and gave them to an online news outlet. But prosecutors revealed explosive new details of what they suggested was an intentional plan by the 25-year-old to leak secrets to the media. Prosecutors told the judge Winner wrote, quote, I want to burn the White House down in a personal notebook and they say she showed a strong desire to travel to Pakistan and meet the Taliban. Prosecutors say last November, while still on active duty with the Air Force, she once used a work computer to search the phrase, do top secret computers detect when flash drives are inserted? Prosecutors say she was denied access to some Air Force computers after that. Should somebody later on have caught that? Yes, I think that when you're looking at someone, uh, especially when you're looking to employ someone, and you're looking to employ someone for a critical area of importance, like a top secret security clearance, you have to look at everything that happened in their history, and you have to decide over time whether this person has changed. Prosecutors have previously claimed Winner tweeted President Trump was, quote, an orange fascist, and followed Edward Snowden, WikiLeaks, and Anonymous on Twitter. Prosecutors also claim she could have additional materials because in a jailhouse phone call, she allegedly referred to documents, plural. Prosecutors say in recorded phone conversations, reality winner told her family of a courtroom strategy she had. Quote, I'm going to play the pretty, white, cute card. And prosecutors say she told her mother to tell the media she feared for her life. Quote, you've got to play that angle. It also shows that she's got some manipulative sense, that she thinks that she can play this role. And maybe she's looking at the Chelsea Manning case and saying, hey, this was a leaker who was pardoned. Maybe I'm, I can fit into the same role. Winner's lawyer says his client is not a traitor and that he's seen no evidence from prosecutors that proves she leaked anything. Her mother and stepfather continue to defend her, doing, including on CNN. She, she served her country. She's a veteran in the United States Air Force and served with distinction for six years. She's a patriot. Tonight, as Winner remains behind bars, some experts are questioning the security at the agency with the word security in its name. After giant thefts of classified materials by That's Edward Snowden and allegedly analyst Harold Martin. That's the big, biggest problem the NSA has. People who on the surface appear okay, who are completely vetted, they find nothing wrong with them, and then after they get there, they become disgruntled, they become dissatisfied, they think the public ought to know this information, and then they turn rogue and, and do it. We now take a break. Frontline Sports is up next.